Over here. Over here. Up there, I saw a UFO, and it went down the river, turned right at the United Nations, <laughs> turned left, and then down the river. It wasn't a helicopter, and it wasn't a balloon, and it was so near. Then you look what sort of uh, round, just, white, just luminescent, like, and silent. Uh, silent, and it looked dark, like black or gray in the middle, and had white lights, just looked like light bulbs, you know? Just going off, on, off, on, off, on, blink, 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 blink around the bottom, and on top was a red light. If you see a little note on walls and bridges, it says, I saw a UFO. And I was just finished doing walls and bridges. I'd mastered it, or done the last tape of it, and I was really just relaxed and feeling good. And it was summer in New York, and I had the window open, and lo and behold, there was this thing just hovering sort of a uh, hundred yards away. But I saw it so close, it wasn't in the sky or nothing, you know? And it was like, I could have hit it with a brick if I'd thrown a stone at it. I couldn't see the colors because it was dusk. It was a good, clear summer night. You know, the sky was very clear. And round the bottom of it were just ordinary looking electric light bulbs blinking off and on alternatively, like on a billboard or something. And on the top of it was a red light. And the thing I noticed was that there was no noise and I could hear that freeway down below all the cars going. So I realized, oh, it's not a helicopter, then it must be a balloon. It was so close to the rooftop that it couldn't be a balloon. It was, so all the rational things I went through, they're not a helicopter, a balloon. Not a balloon, it's too close to the roof. It's, and it's maneuvering too well to be a balloon. So I just watched it, and it, it was there for about five or ten minutes. It went off down the East River, and uh, there it was. And that's all I've got to say about it.